Be going. Amen. We're going to go to our scripture reading. The steps of a good person. That's our title. And it is coming from Psalms 37 and 23. It says, The steps of a good man or a person are ordered by the Lord, and he delighted in his ways. Now, we're going to talk about some things first about what makes a man good. Amen? Amen. Amen. The first thing is that it's not his money. Can I get a witness up here? It's not his money. It's not the degrees that he have. And it's not because of the things that he do. Okay? Now, Psalms 105 say, For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Amen. So we want to, I want to tell you what David said. David said, because God has to order my steps, but sometimes I don't listen. And so when I don't listen, David said, he drew me up from the pit of destruction and set my feet up on a rock, making my me, my steps secure. And when you know that God can pull you out of destruction and set you securely in on that rock of which is Jesus Christ, and you will have a better outcome. Let's talk about the steps of a good man. How God, God number one, God directs that man. Number two, God guides that man. And number three, God, uh, the man allows God to lead him. Amen? Amen. 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 And what Romans 7 said, because this is what we're dealing with today. It says, what I want to do, I don't do. What I should do, I don't do, because we have a sinful nature. So we have to deal with that sinful nature. And a lot of times me or women may think they are strong enough to deal with it, but they can't. And this is how you're going to deal with it. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 say, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. Can I get an amen up here? Amen. For, the, for God directs your steps. Amen. First, you have, in order for God to direct your steps, you must have faith and trust God. Have faith and trust God. This is Toya's favorite scripture. She's not here over in Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but all your ways. Acknowledge God and he will direct your path. Amen? Amen? Amen. Secondly, you must pray daily. And I know that is something that we all had to grow into is praying daily. I'm not just talking about when you need God to do something for you. I'm talking about if you just wake up in the morning and say, God, I give you the glory. I praise your name. I honor you. I magnify you. I lift you up over my, my life this morning, Lord. Thank you for waking me up. And during, during the daytime, you can go to Matthew 6 and 9. But even if you just wake up and say, thank you, Jesus. You have given God some honor. It don't have to be no long prayer. Amen? Amen. 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 And Luke 18 and 1 says that we should always pray and not faint. And I just went back on that. Some things we do in life is just so hard. Sometimes the circumstances get difficult. And we are so caught up in that thing because we can't trust God when we try to handle it on our own. We forget to, to acknowledge God. He already said in all your ways, in all your ways, not just your good times, but your bad times too. Amen? Amen. We must pray. Amen. We must 
believe. Jeremiah 33 and 3 said, we must believe and read, meditate in God's word. Amen. Number four said, if you want God to order your steps, you must be led by the Holy Spirit. That goes back to that verse where I said, you're a new creature in Christ. When we are a new creature in Christ, even though we stumble, even though we make some mistakes, the Holy Spirit is going to guide our steps. Amen. Those who are led by God are called the people of God. There are so many people talking, oh, I know God, I know God. But do you really know God? Come on now. Amen. Let's, let's get it together. The Lord directs, when he directs our steps, he delights in our ways. And even though when we fail, the Lord is holding us up in his hand, saying, don't look at what is happening. Don't look at what's going on. I got it. I got it. Just trust me. But I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's hard to trust when you're trying to trust God for something so near and dear. Something so trivial that we can't seem to just go to our Father in heaven. That he's going to do what he said he'd do here on earth for us. And I can testify that a lot of times we're not going to always be ready. Because, see, the enemy does little nitpick things sometimes. And I'm just going to testify this one. You can think you're ready and you can walk out and come up across a Delilah spirit or a Jezebel spirit. I'm going to tell you today, in this world, I'll be happy when I come across a godly person. Amen. 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 You got to pray that prayer. Pray God put some godly people in your path. Amen? Amen. Because where you go sometimes, you may come up against somebody that don't care nothing about you being married. Don't care nothing about you serving God. These women out here, these men out here don't care. And these men out here, they are making it bad for married people. Because they take one person that's doing wrong, and they make that the poster child for God's plan for our lives. Over in Proverbs 16 and 9 say, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. Why do we hurt and have pain when something doesn't work out? God is saying, I have something better. Amen. Amen. God is saying, I have a plan that's better than yours. But here's the clue that you need when it comes to God's plan. You got to be patient. Amen. Amen. Sometimes our blessings don't come when we think they should come. Abraham said, when I waited patiently, I was blessed. Amen. So waiting on God is a big part of us being blessed. Amen. Amen. Psalms 31 and 15 said, trust in the Lord. You are my God. And this one right here says, my times are in your hands. Now that part right there is my times is in your hand because one of life's worst enemies that we can face, one of the worst enemies we can face is death. But God says to his people, my life is in your hands. Amen. Amen. So we're going to look at Proverbs 20 and 24. It says the Lord directs our steps. So we don't have to understand everything along the way. We don't have to understand why something didn't work out. But we got to keep trusting.